children i hope you were able to complete chapter 1 now we are going to do the chapter 4 i want you to turn to page number 62 in your book turn to page number 62 the chapter that we are going to do is chapter 4 energy so work and energy are two common terms that we you have been hearing from your small classes right they are not new to you you've been hearing very often different activities like playing running etc reading etc or some of the work that we do we use some energy to do this activities but according to physics the concept of work is little different concept of work is little different so we are going to understand that in this chapter first let's start with the definition of work work is said to be done the definition goes like this work is said to be done when when force is applied and object moves in the direction of force so there are two things involved in work to be done first is we might apply a force and the next important thing is the object must move in the direction of force then only we can say work is said to be done now let's consider few examples suppose imagine you are trying to push a wall you are using all your energy and trying to push a wall but the wall is not going to move so are you doing any work no no work is done in this case because the wall is not moving though you are applying energy applying force because the wall is not moving no work is done second example a man standing with a load on his head okay a man standing with a load on his head he is not walking he is just standing with a load on his head in this case also no work is done third example third example let us consider a girl swinging in a swing in this case we say work is done because there is some movement in the direction of force okay so this is how we identify whether work is done or not in normal language maybe if apply a force we think we are doing work but according to physics we are not doing work unless the object moves in a in the direction of force now look at your books in page 63 this is the definition under work the first three lines gives the definition work is said to be done when on applying force an object moves in the direction of force this is the definition of force then lots of examples are given in this page and the next page you can go through it and find out in which case work is done in which case work is not done okay next we go to the next topic that is conditions for work to be done conditions for work to be done okay conditions for work to be done same thing what you had it for definition the same thing force should be applied object must move in the direction of force these two are called the conditions look at the book now a force must be applied so the two conditions that must be fulfilled are a force must be applied on an object the object must move through a certain distance in the direction of force applied now i would like to stress this this phrase is very important in the direction of force applied so these are the two conditions for doing work we'll go to the next topic that is measurement of work okay so that is basically the formula that we use to calculate work done 
work done formula is force into displacement in the direction of force force is represented by f displacement is represented using a letter s so this is the formula that we use to calculate force so you see this in page 64 mathematically work done is f into s where f is the force applied s is the distance moved in the direction of force the last topic for today is unit of force unit of work okay s a unit of work s a unit of work is joule represented by letter j okay there are the bigger units like kilojoule 1 kilojoule is equal to 1000 joules so s a unit of work is joule you should remember this and then kilojoule could also be a unit but it's a bigger unit and 1 kilojoule is 1000 joules you can now pass pause this video for a while and go through pages 62 63 and 64 before doing the numericals it will be good if you go through the content of these three pages now we'll start solving some numericals i'll be doing two example numericals given in page 65 example number 1 a child applies a force of 5 newton on a toy cart and is able to push the toy cart through a distance of 3.6 meter in the direction of force what is the work done by the child okay now let's write what all are given a child applies a force of 5 newton so f is equal to 5 newton and then the toy moves through a distance of 3.6 meter or we call it displacement to 3.6 meter now we have to calculate the work done simple use this formula f into s so 5 into 3.6 it will be 18 and the unit will be joule capital j so work done will be 18 joule now we'll go to example number 3 Now the question says a coolie lifts a load of 20 kg from the ground puts it on his head 1.7 meter above the ground find the work done by the coolie against the force of gravity on the luggage g is equal to 10 meter per second square now what all are given mass is given as 20 kg puts on his head 1.7 meter above the ground so that is the distance traveled yeah, or displacement you can say that is 1.7 meter find the work done they have given the value of g as 10 meter per second square in this they have not given force so first step is to find the value of force now the formula for force is mass into acceleration due to gravity m into g now m is 20 and g is 10 so it will be 200 newton after calculating the force you can calculate the work done using the formula f into s now f is 200 newton multiplied by s is 1.7 meter so the answer would be 340 chips so this is how you have to do the numericals